Back on the island, we're now more than a month into the new year, but Christmas is still on the minds of one Nanaimo family. On Christmas Eve, you may recall the fondue pot that led to a massive fire gutting an entire Nanaimo home. It left four people and a dog called Zero homeless. But now, one month later, the family is finally reunited for the first time. CTV's Jeff Bassey has the story. That? Liz Fleming is back in her kitchen. Well, it's good to be home, isn't it, dear? <laughs> Reunited with her two best friends, her husband Bob and her dog Zero. Eh? Yeah, the Christmas fire survivor. On Christmas Eve, Liz and her family were enjoying a fondue dinner when the Christmas tree caught on fire. Flames ravaged the home. Liz, Bob, their daughter Alex and Zero managed to escape. It was like... This can't be, right? I mean, it's Christmas Eve. I mean, this just doesn't happen on Christmas Eve. The ambulance transported the three burn victims to the hospital, but left the dog behind. I see our little dog, Cyril, and I just said, well, who, what's going to happen with Cyril? A stranger stepped forward to help the Flemings. This gentleman said, uh, don't worry about the dog. I'll look after your dog for you. Then the next day, my husband found out his story, and he was a homeless man that uh, took our dog. Liz suffered burns to her face and her body. She spent more than a month in Victoria's burn house. Bob was right there by her side, but her pooch was hundreds of kilometers away, living in a homeless man's truck. And then we made arrangements uh, to have the dog um, handed over to a close friend of ours up in this Belzer area. The stranger from Port Alberni handed over the dog to one of the Fleming's neighbors. And Zero returned and, and uh, things are doing, we're doing quite well, my dog. Liz's burns are healing. She wears a special garment to protect her left hand. It looks like a glove. She can only manage small household chores and is unable to go to work. My goal is to get back as quickly as possible. It will take two years of physiotherapy for Liz's hand to gain its full mobility. She says she'll work hard to get the glove off so she can shake the man's hand who rescued her dog. I'd like to see if I can contact him to, you know, give our thanks to him properly. The Flemings are now together again, a family reunited by the kindness of a perfect stranger. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Bowser.